Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I've got some unique daytime observations to share with you guys. One out of southern Louisiana. Don't know if this is one of those Tic Tac objects or something as simple as a weather balloon. Also in this video, we're going over to Berlin, Germany, where it looks like there's Morse code spanning across the sky. We're going to come back and take a look at that video as well. Going up to Volo, Illinois, where there was a very colorful daytime object moving through the sky that was apparently moving moving as fast as an airplane at one time. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, quick look at the Schumann resonance, a little bit of activity in the last 24 hours, several small spikes, but nothing major. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera, for the most part, pretty quiet. Got some unusual activity at Old Faithful. It's ongoing right now as I do this video. Don't know if that's magma intrusion, a little bit of earthquake activity, or a combination of both but overall everything looks kind of like it did yesterday a little bit of activity across the entire caldera looking at the earth facing side of the sun there's recently been a small solar flare earth directed it was picked up by the ionosphere almost instantly and you can see the energy from that active region and that recent solar flare showed up instantly in the ionosphere lighting up the daylight side of the earth quickly retreating again it wasn't a very big solar flare but it was picked up almost almost instantaneously. Going over here to nullschool.net, looking at the Sahara sand. It is now spanning across the entire Atlantic Ocean into the Southern Caribbean. That is actually over 4,000 miles long and nearly 1,000 miles wide. You're looking at a very thick plume. There will not be any hurricanes forming, at least in this region. Hurricanes could form over in these regions. I'm not saying that there will, but if there's going to be any hurricane activity, it's definitely not going to be in this region here because it puts a lid on on the atmosphere and it totally screws up the mechanics that are involved when it comes to the formation of hurricanes. Here it is in true color and you can definitely see a big plume of sand spanning over a thousand miles. Moving up to Volo, Illinois right now, video sent in by Kristen S. of something very bright orange in the daytime sky. Pretty good size. She said at one time it was moving as fast as an airplane. Kind of unusual. Doesn't look like a Chinese lantern. She said it didn't make any noise. Uh, it was kind of large, moving very quickly. Looked to be about five, maybe 6,000 feet up in the air. Just looked out of place. There's nothing else up in the sky that even resembles that thing, whatever it may be. She goes, on to say this flew over my house tonight moving as fast if not faster than an airliner looked like an orange fireball without a tail any idea what it could be and I don't know what this could be it's a little far away to tell but there's a close-up view as I zoomed in on the object and kind of adjusted the clarity and, and color and whatnot looks like a mini Sun moving through the sky above Volo Illinois some sort of an unidentified flying object in the daytime sky now we're gonna go down to southern Louisiana video footage sent in by Jacob he was looking at this airplane actually filming this airplane soaring over southern Louisiana when he noticed that in his video so I zoomed in on it got in as close as I could he shared that with me right there and at first I'm thinking okay maybe a balloon but the more I looked at it the more I decided no that's probably not a balloon this thing looks like it has extremities on it it's not a bird though it's way too big but it almost is behaving like a bird and if it is a bird it's more than likely one of the largest on the planet here it is inverted light is dark dark is light you can get an idea of what this thing kind of looks like and its movements and it does look like a very very large bird or one of those tic-tac crafts that were spotted by the Navy. I suppose it could be one of those as well. But considering all the movement that this thing has, I don't think it's a balloon. And not only that, I've seen balloons up in the sky and I've zoomed in on them before. Balloons typically have a payload that hangs down. And a lot of times when you zoom in real tight, you can see that payload hanging below the balloon. That's not the case here. And I'm not exactly sure how to interpret that. Just another unusual object in the daytime sky. Now we're going over to Berlin, Germany. What you're looking at here, I put in examples of Morse code, numbers and letters. That's what Morse code looks like on paper. Here's what it looks like in the sky. Video by MPD sent in by Jeff. Is this Morse code? This was taken on June 1st of 2021 in the clear blue sky above Berlin, Germany. Look at that, see the similarities? Looks identical to Morse code. 
Are they communicating with something in space above the Earth that's looking down at Earth? What is that for? Who did it? You don't see any airplanes up here. You can see it kind of forming over here to the right. Watch. But where are the planes? That's an original speed. I did not fast forward it or slow it down. That's the original speed. And you can see those things showing up, not necessarily randomly. You can tell that's of intelligent origin very, very clearly. But what is it? Are they trying to communicate with somebody out in space? I don't know, but that looks exactly like Morse code right there. Incredible footage out of Berlin, Germany. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Starting off in Winnipeg, Canada, video footage sent in by Andrew B. He said it was 95 degrees up there the other day when this huge cloud formed over Winnipeg. Photo here sent in by Nahima out of Montreal. A very intense halo there behind the tree. Jonathan out of Montreal. Different day, huge golden cloud with some sort of a, a tube-like feature in the center of it. Michael O. out of Texarkana, Arkansas. Spectacular double-decker rainbow. It looks like a portal over there in the sky. Incredible. Photo here sent in by Ron P. out of Chichester, Pennsylvania. Multiple layers of what look like shelf clouds in the sky. Shelly out of Ontario. Fiery orange sky above Canada. Polenta out of California. Yet another exceptional, very intense halo in the sky in the proximity of the sun. Robert F. out of Carlsbad, New Mexico. Very colorful sky. Gold in sunset. Photo here sent in by Lena M. from out over the Irish Sea. Spectacular, very long, what looks like a roll cloud off in the distance. Bright pink looming over the Irish Sea. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.